Does anyone else hate the ground? When you see a building sat there on the ground, is this your reaction? Wow, why is that treehouse sat there on the ground? Well, if you're like me and you hate the ground, let me introduce you to these awesome things called tree houses. Bang, yeah. <clears throat> so, tree houses have leaves which don't touch the ground. They have houses that don't touch the ground. They have trunks which do touch the ground, but only slightly. Normally, tree houses are green and brown, but I decided to break the mold and make seven tree houses that are the colors of the rainbow. Let's start off with a red tree house. So for most of these tree houses, I focused more on making a cool and awesome massive tree rather than making a fancy house on it. Although the house on this one is pretty fancy. And the problem with building each tree is that you can't really cheat very much by using world edit. Instead, you have to place a lot of blocks yourself when making the branches. Otherwise, it just looks kind of uniform and weird, whereas trees, you know, are like natural and springing everywhere. So for the red tree, I'm using these red wood logs here plus some maple leaves which you can kind of see down in the forest. I decided to build each tree in the biome that they fit into very nicely. And I tried to make each tree different in their own way. But we started off pretty basic with a just standard looking tree with some leaves on it and this very nice sort of townhouse on top of it. The leaves placing part, although this is only taking about 20 seconds, actually took about 30 minutes and it does make for a really pretty time lapse. But let's go have a look around around this build and I'll show you how it functions as a treehouse. So here you have it. I kind of wanted this treehouse to have the house poking out the top of all the leaves. There are not that many leaves on this tree as obviously there's a massive house in the middle of it. To get into the treehouse there's some ladders up the side of the trunk here and you end up on this little platform surrounded by leaves and you've got the main entrance. The house isn't decorated but you'd have ladders up onto the other floors and there's plenty of space for activities in this house but a very natural overgrown looking tree house. Next up, we have the orange treehouse. I decided to go for a much taller design for this treehouse here with a narrower trunk. And I know these logs don't look particularly orange. Well, that's because there aren't really many orange logs. But of course, I used orange leaves and I went for a different method of adding the leaves on this one. Rather than placing them all individually, I decided to replace the air with just leaves, as you can see there, and it makes this really weird sort of effect. If I place all these logs around, they sort of naturally form around the logs, which does look nice for trees like this, but obviously doesn't work all the time. And for the buildings in this treehouse, I decided to embed them within the leaves, and I sort of have these tunnels linking up the different little buildings that are perched on top of the leaves here. And of course, I had to make the buildings orange with orange stained plank roofs. And although the buildings are quite basic on this one, I added quite a few in and I also added a little farm down below. You can see me clearing some space there as well to show you the benefits of living in a treehouse. Everything is in the air. So here is the final design sitting very nicely on top of this hill here. Most of the tree houses we build today do have ladders heading up to them as it's just the easiest way is you got to climb a lot of distance and staircases would just take too long but here you end up in this little corridor you got some chests around and you can head over here to the bedroom which is very nicely decorated with a bed and a bookshelf and then through our corridor here we have our farm down here looking very nice which could be expanded as well if we wanted to amongst the trees and over here we have our sort of chest room slash making stuff room with our orange crafting table but a very different design Designed to the first tree house and I love how the leaves sort of just sit very neatly on this one. You guessed it. Next up is yellow. For the yellow tree house I decided to do it a little bit different by building it in a desert and building it after a palm tree. As you can see here, very tall and thin, and we have the palm leaves start to form, which we only had four. I was gonna go for eight, but I decided to make the leaves wider rather than have many of them. And also, to skip a few steps, I decided to copy and paste the same palm leaves around, which I know makes it look very weird as not always palm leaves are very even, but I think the effect still works quite nicely. And my main idea was to have the buildings hanging below, kind of like coconuts do on a palm tree. So I built three different buildings, which all kind of are yellow, but at the same time can look kind of like a fruit or something hanging from the tree. But the main problem was how do we get into these buildings? So I had to link up through the middle of the tree and there is access to all of the three buildings. So although it 
doesn't look it. It is quite practical. I also end up adding a load of glowstone in under the leaves because it just is too dark otherwise and makes it look prettier. So again, very different to the other tree houses so far. And the entrance to this one is actually hidden at the bottom. You go through these doors here and then there's a ladder as usual all the way up through the middle of the tree and you get to this area here where you head to the first building which is not decorated none of the buildings decorated up another ladder and these two are both on the same floor you've got one over here and then you've got the other through here as well you could obviously have different things like a farm instead of the buildings if you wanted to but i decided to go for the buildings for now just because i wanted that coconut-y type effect and i think it works pretty well and that really does stand out in the desert doesn't it did anyone request a green tree house Tough, you're getting one. Now per my usual luck, one of my recordings messed up while I was building these roots here for this green tree. So instead we've got this little video showing you what I had built so far. But obviously green is just the colour of trees. So I wanted to make something a bit different rather than doing a standard tree shape or like an oak shape. So I made this which is kind of coming out of the water with all these weird branches branching off. And once again I used that method of pasting a load of leaves on top of the logs and having it sort of fit and it really worked really well on this one. I placed the logs a bit better this time and it sort of looks like they're hanging and although it is a bit dark right now, don't worry, I do light it up. It really looked cool and I had just loads of vines hanging down as well as I really wanted to make this look like a swamp-like tree and unlike the other tree houses where I've sort of built a building on top of them, this one I made the building inside of it. You'll see in a second as we go look round. I really like the overgrown sort of look we've got going on here with all the vines hanging down and stuff and the mix of glowstone as well to light it up and it makes it look quite magical in fact. Plus the vines in the middle hanging down which just looks really pretty. But you get onto it from this platform here, you probably have a boat up to it and then you head up and inside it's very nicely decorated. We've got all the stuff we need, loads of bookshelves, some seats of course and this sort of creeper rug which is of course green. And then over here you've got a ladder which takes you up to the next floor where we have our bedroom with a chest and more bookshelves. Pretty simple decoration but as I said focusing more on building the tree and showing you where you could have your house rather than going full on decorating as that just gets boring. But there it is, the green tree house looking very overgrown. I'm blue, Debra tree house, Debra die. Now this one is possibly the most complicated of all the tree houses we built today as I made this sort of spiral trunk, which you can see me laying out here. Then I used world edit to paste spheres onto it to make this really cool sort of spiraling effect. The problem I had now though was what was I going to do with the leaves and the branches? So I sort of figured out a way to make it look kind of small. Once again, a building on top of this one, nice and blue and a kind of cool design, a bit unusual to the sort of things I'd normally build. But let's be real, not too different. However, this tree is the only one that has a staircase all the way up. I made use of the spiral nuts to have a staircase all the way up which I thought looked really pretty. I then added in all these leaves as well, which I sort of had these little branches coming off and just wild selections of leaves, which I placed by myself. No world edit usage this time, which means it took a lot longer to do. And then I added some glowstone in, or some sea lanterns even, and some fairy lights and other stuff to make it look very magical indeed. Let's go have a look around. So it looks very uneven from down here. However, if you look at it from this angle, not so much. It is a long journey to get to your house, I will admit that right now, but look at the view, beautiful. Inside some more simple decoration, blue crafting table of course, and everything you'd ever need in there. But a very unique and different sort of tree, which I thought looked really cool. Very happy with how this one turned out, and I like how you don't have to take a ladder because I hate ladders. Ooh yeah, purple treehouse time. The penultimate treehouse of today. This one I made inside this really dark Umbran forest biome, which is why it looks kind of weird and like nighttime. In fact, it is daytime. There's just this weird effect on this biome. I'm not entirely sure why, but I'm going with it. I'm going for the dark, mysterious, moody tree, which is also quite magical. Now I'm working extra hard on the branches on this one as I'm not going to add any leaves whatsoever. 
but instead I'm going to add some nice purple blossom with some glowstone thrown in to make it look extra magical. Rather than have the house sitting in the tree on this one, I decided to have it hanging with this really cool textured purple stuff, which looks like it's moving really quick, but that's because it's sped up. It doesn't actually look like that in real time. We'll see in a second. And then here is the stuff that I was talking about. I think this really makes it look really cool and magical. I said really about four times there. I should probably shut up now. But let's go have a look around this build as I add in the final purple and pinkish touches to it. I really wanted this tree to sort of stand out amongst the other trees in this biome which are all very dark and moody and disgusting then whoa look at this magnificent magical thing. So I worked very hard to make the branches and all these bits of purple and glowstone look really nice and I think it spread out really evenly which is cool. The house here is quite an unusual shape as you can see from down here, not something I'd normally build a house shape in. But I thought it's going to be weird because it's hanging from a tree. You take the ladder up, ooh ladders, to here where you have a very nicely laid out house. As you can see it looks like the walls are sparkling. Everything you'd need from a bed to bookshelves to a chests, furnaces and of course a flower pot. Mm flower pot. Not really a tree house, more a house hanging from a tree, but I still think it looks pretty cool. Give me a wink, this tree house is pink. For the final tree house I wanted to go for something a bit unusual and I'm not entirely sure if it works. I'm still yet to decide. I decided to do these heart shaped leaves which kind of look interesting. I try to make it look as natural as possible but it is a heart shaped tree so it doesn't look natural whatsoever. In fact it kind of looks like a lollipop but I decided to place the building in the center of the heart because home is where the heart is. <laughs> oh I'm not funny. And then I tried to adjust it to make it look a bit more natural rather than just having this very uniform and precise build which kind of made it look a bit weird but it sort of came together in the end and I added a load of decorations onto it such as some hanging crystals plus some water falling down from it. Pink water of course because it is the pink tree and although it looks like Velma and Wilma from the Simpsons haircut I don't think it's that bad. And oh boy does it stand out, yes indeed. Amongst the cherry blossom trees here you head up the massive ladder which we hate into the building up here which is kind of hidden away amongst the heart now as I added a few more leaves around it and stuff like that. Got some furnaces, crafting table, anvil up here. We got a load of chests and we got the bedroom up here. Not very nicely decorated because I'm boring but the treehouse itself is very unique and on this side we even got a little heart window on it as well. A heart within a heart. Although I could probably work on making it look a bit more natural as it kind of looks a bit of a mess. And after building six other tree houses, you kind of lose the will to live. But there you have it guys, those are our seven rainbow tree houses. I hope you did enjoy this video. Make sure to leave a like and comment if you did. And if you've got any other rainbow builds you want me to do, let me know in those comments down below. Thank you so much for watching and I shall see you another time. Goodbye.